Oh Saracino, hey. oh Saracino. Hey. How you doing today? Dirty old Rias told the alt leader Bill here, eh? Freaking right. I'm gonna show you boys and girls how not to put an alt leader in. Why wouldn't I? Freaking right I am. But uh, I'm not gonna bother cleaning her out, boys. I don't give a crap. I don't. As long as it freaking works, eh? But I did have to change the pulley. The pulley that was on it was a little bit bigger. I don't want. I don't want to change belts too. So I just put a belt in the darn thing like three weeks ago for freak sakes. Or actually, I guess it was a year ago now. Whatever it was, eh? a while ago. So I changed that and I put my little doodad on here because it looked a little less rusty. It did. Let's grab some freaking tools here and we'll go back there and see what we can do. Freaking right, you will. I've got the alternator back there. I, I've got the tools back there. I gotta bring my Johnson bar. And I'm trying to find my friggin' wind protection microphone. And you think I can find the darn thing? Like, what's really going on? So we're gonna try to find that so the wind don't cock us over. So I'm gonna keep looking for it. Founder boys, hey, I'm using one of these right here to see if it helps with the wind I am. So if you have a GoPro Hero 4 and you wanna get an external mic, Try one of these if you like the way it sounds. Why wouldn't you? I'll put the link below for it. Friggin' right it will. And don't forget to subscribe and like on this video because it's just gonna be cocked right over it is. All right, boys. Well, here we are, hey? The alternator reinstallation session with the old dirty old Bilsif. So I put the bolts back in so I knew where they went. I did. Friggin' right I did. And uh, we gotta try to get this tensioner to tension. I can tell you right now, boys, it's not gonna be fun, it ain't, because that thing just friggin' flung right back it did. Like, how the frig, man, am I supposed to get that back down? Frick sakes. So, we'll get this going, we'll put the alternator in, and then we'll worry about the other stuff after, eh? Why wouldn't we? So, we'll get these bolts back out. There's two bolts down here, and there is. On the old four liter. There's a little guard. Don't lose the guard, boys. Don't lose the Elgardo, boys. Oh, so there we go, that's out. So now, <sighs> slap this back down here, boys. Slap her down here, boys. All right, we will. Decent. Let's throw this one in here like so. Like so. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, boys. Maybe. Boys. There she is, eh? Freaking right it is. We get that one started. So now we got to get these ones down here started. And this guard's got to go back on somehow. Some way. I think it went down like this, boys. In here, through here, down here, across here like this, and in here like that, boys. Oh, frick, boys. That's a freaking toy. He toyed like a toyer. Hey? Mm. Mm, eh? Uh. Get in there, you dirty son beaver. Eh, I don't even know what this is for, but we're gonna use her because it was there before. And I'm a strict believer in putting her back the way she was. So there's that. We'll stub that bolt in there like this. We'll shove that bolt in there like that, and we'll hold it, and you can't see nothing, but you don't need to. I'll show you right now. See, the guard goes on like that, boys, down here. Can you see it? Decent. It must just be to keep stuff off the old exhausty manifoldy, hey? Do you want to watch me or the alternator? What do you want to watch? Let's watch the alternator for a few minutes. Friggin' right you will. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So, now that that's in, we're going to need extensions. Do you see? Oh, oh, hey, oh. We're going to need, I think it's a 14, boys. I'm using everything out of the new kit I am. We'll slide that on there like that. And we'll twist this in here like this. Get her started, boys. There we go. Decent. Maybe. She needs a little wiggle, she does. A little wiggle in the waggle, eh? Tell you what, if somebody has a four liter port track, she's pretty easy, boys, to change an alternator it is. So everything's right there. Now we won't tighten her up too much. We'll just snug her down so I can get everything lined up. See, because I haven't got something lined up already. Oh yeah, it's just going in real good. Oh, friggin' mint. There's one. Oh, that's too small, boys. That little slippy slip we did. She must be a 13er. Slap a 13 on her. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah, boys. Friggin' deez. There we go. She's Jim Dandy, she is. So now what we need to do is we gotta bring the wires back over, like so, and I gotta take that back out for frig sakes. I forgot the little doodad that holds the wiring. A lot of people would say, screw it. That's not me, eh? Gotta do what we gotta do, we do. Friggin' right, we do. Get out of there, you son of a beaver. For God's sakes, Jim. Decent. We'll slide this back in here like this. And this one plugs in here like that. Click. This one plugs in down here like this. Click. Hey, click. This one goes on here like this. Don't lose her, boys. Don't drop the screw ski. That one's a 10 mil, I think, boys. 10 millage. Friggin' rightage. <sighs> 10 millo. She is. 
So then I'm gonna slide this little horseshoe bobber thing in my bobber over top. Make sure she's not clicked on real good, boys, because you don't want anything touching that. She's current, hey? There we go. Frick, that was freaking easy. Seven minutes, boys. Seven minutes. But we haven't got the belt on yet. That's gonna be the next prick. Wait until you see this act. All right, so. Oh, so, so, boys. So she goes up and around and down and over and across and over and around. Freaking right it does. Oh, wouldn't it? But that's gotta go. Holy, how am I gonna get that on, man? I'm not looking forward to this part at all. Frig, no, I'm not. So now I gotta get that tensioner back down, but yet it's going the wrong friggin' way. Holy crap, I think I remember this when I did the belt, boys. There's no friggin' grabber for the tension on this friggin' sportage. Frig, no, there's not. <sighs> oh, God, I don't want it. Boys, I don't want it, boys. How do I do that again? The guy had to push on it really, really hard. Frig. So we get this big jalopy down here, like so. Get her in behind in there. Get her on that, baby dad. And we'll push on her. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, we're gonna get her butts. Yeah, we are. Oh, that was friggin' easy. Friggin' right it was easy. Look at that. Decent. So that's in. So now we just gotta do this and that and the other thing. We gotta put that back on. We gotta put that back on. We gotta put the battery back in. Holy frig. We got a little bit of a leak down here on the old housing that I just changed like a month ago. Well, maybe it's been a year, boys. Hey, it's been about a year, I think. Frig sakes. We'll do that later. Let's get this thing running. Friggin' right, let's get it running. Why wouldn't we? So, this goes on here like so. Like so. And this goes on here like so. And this goes in here like so, which it was out for some reason. There we go. Gotta make sure she's right on the right angle to dangle, boys. So now I'm pretty sure this was an eight millage. Sure was. We'll eight mill this thing on here, like so. Tighten her up, boys. Tighten her right up, boys. There we go, don't over tighten that because it is plastic. Friggin' right, it's plastic. Decent. That's on. Now we need to slap the old four liter cover on her, boys. Friggin' right we do. 4.0. Decent. Nothing like a 4.0, boys. Oh, I think we got her the first shot, too. That's friggin' awesome. Let's go to seven mil, boys. It sure is. Changing an alternator in a Sport Track 101 or Ford Explorer. Ford Explorer, boys. Decent. Let me go to the other side. Stretching right over the camera, I am trying to get this built in. Why wouldn't I? There we go. The tools away. This is why I didn't record myself pulling this out because it was real easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Toolkit back down. Go the other way. Freaking right, it better go the other way. Dumping her everywhere. That would have been good for a movie. Oh, we're gonna need this still. Don't put her too far away. Gotta hook the bloody battery up, we do. Now, I have the battery on my off grid system. I don't know if it's gonna be charged or not. I just put it on five minutes ago. But uh, I'm not sure if I wanna use that battery or use a deep cycle. But we're sitting at 13.4 volts. So she probably gave her a boosty boosty. What do you think, boys? Should we try or what? Okay. Okay. Why wouldn't we? We'll take that off, take that off, and take that off, and lift her up. Good old batteries. They weigh nothing, they do. All right, we'll lift this up here. And this is for the ox beam light skis. We don't want them on there. I probably just cocked over this battery from being dead. We're gonna try her, see if we can revise her. I'm not gonna bolt her down yet. I wanna make sure it's gonna work. Negative, positive boys. Negative and positive boys. I think she's a 10. Oh no, she's smaller. I think she's an eight boys. Girls, peoples. She's an eight millimeter. Friggin' right it is. Probably gonna need a boost. I don't think it's gonna start off this battery. I really don't. Now we're gonna need some keys. Are you ready to see if it's got enough juice to start? Let's check it out. No go on El Juso. I'll just pull a battery off the off grid system and see if we can't boost her from the ground. All right, let's see what happens. I think this battery is deader than dicks. Friggin' right I do. There we go, boys, she's running. Now what we gotta do is we gotta grab the old multimeter and we'll check to make sure she's charging. All right, boys, so there's a little battery connection on the inside of the alternator. What you wanna do is you wanna take one of these, you wanna hit ground, and you wanna hit on there and see what we get for voltage. There you go, 14.8, so she's charging, boys. If it wasn't charging, she'd be at whatever the battery's at, which is normally 
if it's a fully charged battery, you're probably sitting about 13.4 or something like that, eh? Or if it's low battery, she'd be down around 12. So if you're not getting 14 off the alternator, she's not charging, boys, just so you know. You test right on there, boys. Oh, got a little bit of zap I did. But you test right there to ground. So basically, there's nothing to change in the alternator in the old 2004 Ford Explorer or Sport Track, eh? You got three bolts on the alternator, one there, two down there. You unplug the connections. You remove the 4.0 liter housing. You take the hose off. First of all, disconnect the battery, of course, eh? Disconnect the battery first, boys. So then you do that, and then you take, basically, that's it. That's what you take. And uh, the tensioner, you can actually just, as you see me, you can just push down on it with some force, with a long bar, eh? And that gives you enough to get her off and on. Friggin' right. So there you go, boys. It's up and running again, it is. Let's take this battery off and see what we got in here. See if we got any battery lights still on. No battery lights, boys. Friggin' right. Decent. Decent. Watch the rev limiter, boys. Decent. Friggin' right we did. So there we go. Sport track running again, boys. Friggin' right it is. But hopefully like this little uh, change of the old alternator video there from the old bill, so why wouldn't you? Uh, I'm just not, uh, you know, a dumb looking face too, eh? You have to do some things. I'm not also a dumb looking face too. Hey. I can do some things. Friggin' right again. Hopefully you like this, and if you did, make sure you share it, subscribe, and have a good day, and don't do anything I didn't do, and uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>